Oh no! <laughs> what it, Juski? It's your boy Fable34, and today I'm here with my reaction video to Torchwood. This one is season one, episode. 13. This is the finale for Torchwood already guys. The last one was Jack centric and we had him going back in time uh, Which was actually a pretty interesting reveal for his true identity, which we weren't too sure of before didn't really question it uh, So now let's see where they decide to wrap up season one. It's sort of been a mixed bag We've had some pretty good episodes But I think what's been highlighted recently is just how chaotic the relationships are between the group um, and its members. So, uh, interested to see how they're going to sort of decide to end season one and move on to season two. So, be sure to smack that like button and subscribe if you haven't already. And with that being said, let's hop into this one, guys. Yeet. Alrighty. What do we got? Nice ass. <laughs> <laughs> I've seen Reese's cheeks. Season's complete for me. Yeah. There's speculation that the incidents overnight may be linked. The first sightings were of UFOs over the Taj Mahal in India. They came in just after midnight. There were reports of men in historic dress firing upon police. Some religious groups are claiming events overnight are a vindication of their teachings. This is the end of days. I thought uh, for a second it was going to be connected to the the season three finale with the masters and the spinning balls with the with the, with the knives that would be a cool time but and he said go daniel for the things are closed up and sealed until the end of time daniel Amen. 12 verse 10. Hey, don't let me stop your port oh you chibnall finished? the cracks in time trace back here to the rift this city okay. this hub the rift is splintering because of you <laughs> You opened the rift without knowing what you were doing. If it wasn't for me, you two still be in the 1940s. Also true. You can't control time. You can't send them back. What are you going to do? Well, think of something. This is not the end of the world. I'm certain of that. You sure, Jack? All your staff have feelings, Jack. Even Owen. Well, you would know. Mm -hmm. It's a bit of that season back. finale spice. I like you it. You'd rather be stuck in World War II? And also, that Gwen's right. Like, Listen, I didn't know who else to call. Careful, Jack. Sucks it on the TARDIS here to translate. Oh, Andy, don't be silly. Do you think the world's going to end on your shift? I've seen you use that smile on a lot of people. The smile you use to reassure people when deep down you know everything's gone to shit. <laughs> <laughs> this was the first lot of dark. That's so the accurate, though. She disappeared in the middle of a &E. She started coughing up blood. We moved her into isolation immediately. An hour or so later, oh, wow. this is really itself. similar to real life right now. These oh, no, the Black Plague. It's the, it's the fucking Black Death, Tosh. <laughs> She's infected Cardiff a &E with the plague. And it's my fault. Shit, Owen, sit with that one for a second. People are dropping through time and they are going to bring every disease in history through your doors. So you better be ready. You scared enough yet? Because fuck knows I am. Come on, John. I did not, did not expect this season to stack everything on Owen. All right. So it is coming out of the darkness. True? I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. When? Hustle. No. Weevil alert! Maybe they're time sensitive. This disturbance may be too much for them. Good to. Hello, Uh oh. Here comes the mad lad. There's only one way to stop this before things get worse. What? People will die, Yanto, unless you open the rift. Alright, I guess he's just gonna be doing that now. Also, it's. You know, I, I always. I thought it was oh. Yanto, was but it's Yanto, oh, but it sounds like Yanto. You know, what happens when the next carrier comes through, Jack? Someone carrying smallpox or Ebola or something from the future we don't even know about yet. What do we do then? Yeah, well, it's not doing us any good. We're helpless. Mm. All we're doing here is putting sticking plasters on gaping wounds. What do you suggest? I suggest you lead us and you tell us what the instructions are. Oh, well, we're calling out Jack? You want to know a secret? What's your rebuttal, Jack? There's no solution. 
I can't fix this, because this was never meant to happen. The first thing you learned when you joined Torchwood was don't mess with the Rift, but you disobeyed those orders, and now everything that's happening is down to you. Who the fuck are you, anyway? <laughs> that Harkness? You don't even exist. We've looked. So, if you're not even okay. a person, then why the hell should I follow your orders? Get out. What? Get out! I'm relieving you of your duty. That Bollocks you are! Jack, wait. The whole world is going to shit and you're going to fire me? We need to stick together on this! That's what I'm saying, guys. Where's the team? Where's the unity? I can't rely on you. If I don't have your complete trust, you don't belong here. That goes for the rest of you. Anyone who agrees with Owen, leave now! Sometime in the next 24 hours, I get retconned. I don't know where or when, but he'll get me. Jack, this has gone far enough. Guys, let's retract our statements. Jack, for God's sake! <laughs> this is an odd finale. Things are just happening left, right, and center. People are leaving. Plagues are popping up. Owen's gonna have to come back. I doubt he's really gone. Like, come on. And I'm glad that they're bringing back Bellis because that was bothering me how they just didn't explain at all what was going on with him <laughs> last episode. He scavenges antique pieces from the past, brings them here, sells them for a profit. Not a bad business plan. We all have to learn a new. If his objective was money and he could go back in time, why not just get lottery tickets? Smart bets. I can step across eras. At first, it was the most incredible gift. Now I know the reality. It's a curse. Why so? I can see the whole of history, but I don't belong anywhere within it. If we open that rift fully, millions of lives will be at risk. And yet, if you don't, more will fall through. Lives will be lost. <laughs> <laughs> the man, man. You're coming back with us. I'm sorry. I am not your enemy. In the cells, why did you say you were sorry? Sometimes it's better to live in ignorance. Unless... Unless what? Hold my hands, I'll show you. Oh, this is the yeah. death of I'm Reese? Sure. Bet! Bet! Those yeah. cheeks is gone! G? Oh, okay. We've got to go now. Don't rush him. He hits his head on on a corner on the table or something. Oh. Sorry. Oh. Okay. Oh, his love. Bring me back, Owen. You can do that, can't you? Oh, great. Now he's gonna find out about Torchwood. This is where I work. The prison? Yeah. <laughs> it may not seem like it at the moment, but I am just trying to take care of you. I love you, sweetheart. What the hell was that? Just try and relax. Oh. And I'll come back for you. Don't know what her job is. I wake up in a prison cell. I'm questioning my relationship with her at this point. Like in his perspective. I touched the blood. I can still feel it on my hands. Reese's blood. It's not gonna happen. <laughs> uh, is the pterodactyl back? Nobody panic. I actually really like Gwen for the first half of the season, and then the past few episodes, she's just been off this shit. Just straight up shanked them. Oh. Oh. All Shaw shank, no redemption. He's dead. I mean, I did say I didn't think he was going to make it past, his, past season one, I believe, in the beginning. Uh, 
that's it. That is disco. This is what happens here. We all end up alone. Something that you can do, otherwise, what's the fucking point of you? You bring it back! Fucking You came back. Don't touch me. Don't think she wants to see you, bud. I might put in the rift. Make sure you stop him. No. Oh no! <laughs> We're gonna help you. I'm gonna get Reese back. Wait. All right. No, with that. All right. Rift is opening. Here we go. Was gonna kill his team. Away from the computer, Gwen. I said move. He got shot in the shoulder last episode. Let the man live a bit. He got fired too. What are you doing? Final warning. Chico, the poor girl who'll screw any passing alien that gives her a pendant. Owen, so strong he gets in a cage with a weevil, desperate to be mauled. Yanto, hiding his cyber girlfriend in the basement. Your three comrades here pump bullets into her, remember? I've got to get a Reese back. <laughs> You're so in love with Reese that you spend half your time in Owen's bed. Oh my god, what, what is going on? We're opening that rift and getting back what we lost! Charge on. We gotta have significantly bigger balls. Now do the club. I'm sick of people dying me. What have you done? What does this mean for season two? It's gonna come back, obviously, but. Yo, Jack really just roasted the fuck out of all of them, though. <laughs> Wow. Oh what have you done? You got deleted. From out of the darkness, he is come. He? What is he talking about? Of the great Imprisoned beneath the rift. This connection is Saints Pit? Oh hail Abaddon. Abba hoops? Come to feast on life. Nani? What the fuck? We got a kaiju in Torchwood? What in the PS2 graphics are we looking at right now? What was the doctor doing while this was happening? My work is done. Oh, and the squad is gone. I don't even know what I'm watching right now, to be honest. If he feeds on life, then I'm an all-you-can-eat buffet. Bring it on! Cap's gonna lay it all on the line. Get in the suck. <laughs> oh my god. I can't believe that's canon. Holy shit. You're certain. He's ice cold. Let's give him some time to cook. Size. I guess that's it. Gwen scares me sometimes. <laughs> Thank you. Hey guys, I'm back.
The Torchwood team have the, like, by far the weirdest relationships with each other. And just as a team. One day we're shooting each other, the next we're, 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 we're having sex, the next we're shifting blame at the end of the universe. It just is nuts. We all saw people we loved. What did you see? Nothing. Same. What visions would have convinced you to open the rift? The right kind of doctor. Jack. Where are they with those coffees? Whoa! I mean, I guess it is a finale. That makes sense. Ah. Uh, <laughs> sometimes, like, I, I, I bought the source a lot, so much now. Like, I feel like I forget. Sometimes I forget it's a Doctor Who spinoff. And that was Torchwood season one finale. That was my reaction video. So I gotta say, I think the ending there was really cool. Assuming, I think this is taking place during around the season three end. So I'm guessing that's around the season three finale around like Utopia-ish when Jack pops up. So I think that was a pretty cool way to end off of the finale, connecting back to Torchwood. I mean, connecting back to Doctor Who and sort of, I guess, in canon, if that's the case, I'm not too sure. Let me know if that's exactly it. But this was definitely an odd, uh, I think this is definitely an odd finale, but I feel like it almost sort of encapsulates how, like, how Torchwood has been this season. I think the episode itself was, 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 it was okay. It was a pretty clever ending with the whole TARDIS situation. Character dynamics this episode were just, we were just wild. We had Gwen stressing about the death of Reese and she gave a pretty good performance around the portion when he was dead. John Barrowman here, always fine in, in some of the tense situations. I feel like he plays some of the emotional bits almost like comical, but like, I just feel like his emotions that he's portraying it seems to sort of feel out of sync with how his counterparts play like like he's talking with owen and he's yelling back sometimes i feel like he's mocking him say i don't know what it is i just sort of get that feel from him they're warning of that this is apparently the end of the world we're saying the black plague is popping up all the blame is on owen connecting back to the previous episode so we carried over billis we jack uh immediately puts the blame on owen because of the whole situation with Diane and opening up the rift but at the same time reason why he saved him so i don't get i, I was kind of confused as to why jack was putting all this blame onto owen it's like he was doing it for you and I, I thought he may be able to be able to understand that but i guess not this led to the series of events where all this time was being displaced kind of got confusing um and then we ended up just sort of just not really caring about that once bill has been introduced and we just sort of focused on the, the high tension moments uh between you know reese dying the teammates you know sort of pitting against each other that to me the most enjoyable moments of this episode the actual story in and of itself wasn't the biggest fan of they're, then they're sort of leading into like this big darkness whatever's coming with billis and then it just ends up being a giant like kaiju cg monster kind of disappointing pointing in my opinion um and just sort of just just sort of like a throwaway the highlights of what i think was just a not great finale in my opinion were just when dealing with reese dying owen butting heads with jack this functional group this is, <laughs> truly so at least for season one i'm interested to see how the torture team is going to be moving on to season two also uh what cameos or tie-ins we might have moving into season two now that Jack is sort of reconnecting with Doctor. And my goodness, I, <laughs> now that I've finally seen and understand Torchwood season one, I think and the idea of the show, I think I'm going to be a little bit more prepared as to what to expect for season two and moving forward. Overall, I sort of feel like this episode is more in line with some of the bad episodes this season, just in terms of its pacing, its structure, uh, a general story, just what was going on. Things just sort of happen sporadically and then we just sort of focus on each of our characters' traumas and, and dilemmas throughout the season. And they're sort of we're just throwing them at each other quick. So we just kept going back and forth. While I did make, I think, for some fun out of those moments, it was just a little too chaotic and messy for me personally. That was Torchwood season one, episode 13. Anyway, guys, though, what did you think about this one? I would love to hear your thoughts in the comment section down below. And with that being said, guys, I'll catch you all for season two episode one next time. Peace.